So I've made a short that shows how the opening file is absent from Rome 2 while it was there in Rome 1. That's a really nifty feature that fits into the game really well and it's it's just great that it's there. It's immersive, practical, sensible, looks good, feels good. Everything about it is right. And then Rome 2 just has when you do the exact same thing, run skirmishers through infantry, it just looks absurd, the physics are fucked. And then after I made that short to show this difference, this omission, this gutted feature, this downgrade, I also made a video that showed how Rome 1 training meant that your units were more permeable. So it's like the permeability of the formation from all sides when it just stands in position. So, for example, if you get highly trained Roman infantry, they stand in an organised grid-like formation and between the ranks and the files there's a gap that can easily be ran through. And that doesn't seem to exist in Rome 2. In fact, nothing much seems to really exist in Rome 2 when it comes to position in space and physics, mass. It seems to just be a mess that was bandaged together after it shipped as an absolute train wreck. So it remains a mess. And we're going to use a robust test for which I already have a side-by-side -side established in Rome 1 and uploaded as how training affects movement and positioning in Rome to War. So that'll be linked in the description and this is the follow-up to that video and also of course the follow-up to the video with the short on my main channel. So let's do the test again, let's repeat the test. We're gonna get gladiators, we're gonna try and replicate it and then we'll go from there if there are problems. So we're gonna get Praetorian Guards, that's the equivalent of Urbans. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Gotta get a general. And then we're gonna get Gladiators. That's... What the fuck are they? These unit cards are so bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we've got eight Praetorians, eight Gladiators. Three units of Velites. Now let's get actual Velites. Just to make it all the more analogous. And then Spear Nobles. Flat map. And this is it. So we're purely doing a comparison of the formation permeability. Might examine the, the spacing and shit while we're doing this. Because there are problems, I'm going to have to follow this up with another test immediately afterwards, I just know it. Alright, so... We have gladiators in front. Actually, we need to do this, this row first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then the gladiators, and I have to make that fit. Shit. I've got to group this, move it back. So one of the problems that Rome 2 has is that the system for training is gutted out. You don't have untrained, trained, highly trained. All you have is these disorganised units here, of which there are almost none. Even the barbarian factions stand like this. All the infantry stand like this. They're like clones. It's like an iRobot. They're just fucking soldiers marching. It's like a military march in front of the Reichstag. They're automatons, robots, they, they stand too perfectly. Even Rome 1 implemented some variation, but in this they're all just, it looks like, it looks to me like they're perfectly lined up and the only difference is which stage of the animation they're in. So it's a completely sterile system that they have here. The mechanics are sterilized. So it's very hard for me 
to achieve the same density with an undisciplined unit that stands in a chaotic fashion and an organised unit that stands like this. It's not easy to do that, but we're going to follow this up and try and account for this. So what I'm doing here is just matching length for length. I need to try and do this right. We're just testing the navigability of the formation, the permeability of the formation. I've got to just do this, I think. And then... Wait a minute, I need to do... I need to lock it. So the formation is about half as dense, and in order to match the density, I'm going to have to do this again. I'm going to have to adjust this. And then... Let's see if we can match. Belites. And then same again. Your orders. And then same again here. Missile yep, that's what we want. So this is close to a perfect test. So let's see how Velites navigate a very clean formation that's uniform, it should be easy to run through. If this is at all like Rome 1, they should just run straight through seamlessly and it should look and feel really good. And then over here we have a disorganised mob. They're like zombies. So it should be like... <laughs> I think the analogy I used was photons trying to get to the skin of the sun. An escape into the cosmos, like you have to find your way through here. There's no straight line to get through, whereas the straight line here is really easy. And if this was sensible, they would just run straight through the straight lines and not have any trouble. And then we have the control, which is to just run through open space. So let's see how they do. What do you think it's going to be like? Because this is as close as it gets, really, to verifying how the collision stands up in Room 2. This was a good test in Rome 1. The methodology is sound. Let's see how it works in Rome 2. Let's go. Look at how they just get shunted off to the side. They just wiggle. See the men? See how they just wiggle and wobble around? They have no mass. They just wiggle constantly. And then over here... It's the same thing. They just get shunted, they just... They keep wobbling around. It's, so it's like what Dolphy said about fucking... What do you even call it? Bumper cars. Like, see that? See that? See that guy there? See how he got through? It was absolutely ridiculous looking. See how much trouble they have? So this is the slowest one. I think these two arrive more or less at the same time. And this one lag behind, which is not how it should be. It shouldn't be like that. And let's repeat the test just to look at it again. So it's not looking good so far. I'm going to pay more attention to the actual results this time. But yeah, it just looks terrible compared to Rome 1 already. It's just fucking obvious. We're going through the side of the formation. We could. We could have went this way, which is what we did for the test on my main channel, where we uploaded the video. Why do people say Rome 1 had collision and New Total War doesn't? This is really it. And I'm doing a side to side to show that that file opening behaviour is taken out of the equation. We're controlling just for the formation and the spacing and the mass and the movement. At the moment, we're not allowing any file opening behaviours. This is a test that's consistent between Rome 1 and Rome 2. So, that's what we're showing at the moment. Just how men run through units. Which, if that's not collision, I don't know what is. I don't know what is.
All right, here we go. Ready to go again. Here we go. Double time. Right, let's see how they end with the formation. Look at how bad that looks. Look at them getting just pushed around. See over there when they're getting pushed around? Holy shit. And then let's look at this. It pushes them into lines. It sorts them into lines. It puts them where they belong. It's almost like they get pushed around so much that they end up in their default location. That's what's going on there. It sorts them into where they're supposed to be. That's how weird this is. That's how strange it is. So we've got... These two arriving pretty much at the same time, which is ludicrous. And then the guys going through the uniform neat formation have trouble, which is ridiculous. Some of them are seriously having trouble. Seniors, look, to your men now. look at that guy there. Like, what the fuck is he doing? Standing. That looks fucking ridiculous. You don't see anything like that in Three Rome 1. To a man. What the fuck? I'm gonna do it again. So we've got 120 men in this unit, 160 in that unit. This unit occupies much less space, this unit occupies much more space. So what we need to do is to get the gladiators and their disorderly mob method of placement to mimic the density of the Praetorian Guards so that we have two blocks of equal density. The only difference between them, the only practical difference is that these ones are chaotically placed while these are neat, so we have to control for that. Let's just do this one more time and then we'll get on, on with it. Here we go. In service to Rome. Let's look at them going in again. Let's look at them being sorted into their respective fucking positions. Yeah, that really is what's happening. It's almost like they have inertia when they're being pushed out of the place they're meant to be in. So they end up just resisting being pushed in their place where they're supposed to be. So you can sort of cheat them out of their RNG spread placement and force them back into an organized placement where it's only the spacing that seems to truly be different between this and this. Like, see if you look down the line here. They've been neatly arranged <laughs> via pushing. They've been sorted by way of fluid mechanics of just pushing them and then having the inertia, wherever that comes from, leave them where they're meant to be. <laughs> That's so that the men don't just get pushed all over the battlefield. <laughs> see how bandaged and forced the systems are in this game? Like, see it? See if I was to run... If I was to run them through here, I would sort this third of the unit, and then I could sort that third of the unit. It's like... weaving or knitting or something. Fucking bobbins and <laughs> weaving and... Oh, man. Just, just pick a man and watch him. Watch him get pushed and see where he ends up. So you apply pressure to the men from one, from this direction, and it sorts them into being arranged properly. It is so bizarre, so fucking weird. Look at that. We've, we've. We've smoothed the unit by running through it. It's been smoothed out, whereas in Rome 1, they don't move at all. See how you can just figure out how this shit works and observe this absurd crap? Look at that, we're organising the fucking units. It's so strange. It's still up. It's still quite apparently chaotic when you look at it from the front, but when you look at it from the side, they've been evened out. You could probably organise a unit of gladiators by just running through it repeatedly, forward, backward, left, right. Just run through we a unit. Let's try that right now as a f as an experiment. 
So it's 120 men, so we're going to try and make a square of 125, so that's about 12 by 12, 11 by 11. 11 by 11, Advanced just under that. And then we're going to run through it from Belites. side to side, to front to back, and then we'll get on with the next test where I control for the different density of the formations of the blocks. So we're going to run through from here, so it was chaotic there, and then we're going to run through from here, and then we'll just repeat this. It seems like they randomized themselves. Why haven't they randomized themselves over here? What is what is making it different? Is it because they're in an unusual formation? Let's have a look. Let's see if I can stop it from triggering. If I do it like this. This is so weird. Why are they moving? And why haven't these ones moved? I don't actually know the answer. It's one of these mysteries of how fucked up this game is. I don't actually know. Anyway, let's go on with the next stage of the experiment. <laughs> something that we can figure out another time, because I actually don't know. I don't understand what triggers that, that slight shuffle back to their positions. We've now got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven gladiators. Eleven times twelve is one thousand three hundred twenty. Eleven times twelve. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times hundred sixty is eight hundred plus four hundred eighty, so one thousand two hundred eighty. So we've got one thousand three hundred twenty versus one thousand two hundred eighty. So all I need to do now is find a way to position these, the gladiators, in such a way that they mimic the shape and density of formation of the Praetorians. This is the best we can manage, so let's try it and repeat the test. And see what results we get. Should be interesting. If this doesn't yield useful data for a side-by-side... -side. Nothing will. Yep, looking good. And this is going to be tricky. So first of all we have to match the formation this way. So we do that. Alright, get these out of the fucking way. Get the fuck out of the road. So we've got four... Man, the HUD is so ambiguous. Fucking hell. Four gladiators in there already. So get these out of the way. No, no, no. Shit, shit. Control Z. Yep, and then these four. I'm gonna lock this group. And then we're positioning them like this. I, wa I want it to be even. I can't even place them like this. It doesn't let me do it. It's so fucking silly. I have to just do it like this. Hang on. I don't know how to do this. Like that. There we go. And now, and this is the tricky thing. I need to try and have this be distributed evenly with respect to this oncoming direction. So I can't do this, but I can do this, for example. And then I'm going to try and just space them. So I'm going to have one of them here. One of them there, and then another one here, and then another one there, 
And that's gotta be close. Let's put this a bit further forwards. It's gotta be close, so we have a pretty evenly distributed formation there. And then let's get these the fuck out. Don't know why I didn't just do that immediately. And then we've got one, two, three, four, battle group awaiting orders. Yeah, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this looks like a good test. Let's get this on the go. Yep, and then the last one. Looking pretty good. And let's see what kind of results we get. The perfect test. So, just as a reminder, in Rome 1, these were the fastest, these were a little bit behind, and then these were way behind. So let's see how Rome 2 handles this. Oh shit, almost fucked Breaking that up. Let's go. No, wait, 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 wait. Let's get this just right. Get this just right. Yeah, let's go. Oh shit. Did that again. Let's go. Hail! Yep, so it begins. The great spazzing out. So they do run through the channels, of course, but it's spasticated. Seems like the guys here are pretty much on par. Some of them having trouble. This guy's way out in front. This guy's a bit behind. Orders, Commander, your orders. Yeah, so it seems like paradoxically you these get stuck about as easily as the chaotic blob gets guys stuck, which should not be happening. And these don't trail behind these much at all. Even though you can see them finding a path straight through, it seems like these barely have a lead, if any at all, over these ones. Which just does not make sense. It should not be happening. There should be a clear difference, but there just isn't. Let's get ready for another run. I think this is a pretty sound test, so there's no reason that the results should be this nonsensical. Stay as you are. Oh man, look at the state of this. Fuck this. Battle group disbanded. I need to position these again. Gather more data, get more From results. At speed. Ready and waiting. All right, take two. Let's see how this goes. Perfect. Happy to serve Rome. Let's see how it goes. Oh, what is that? What is this? No, 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 no. What the fuck is that? I hate this interface. I hate this shitty interface. My god, nonsense, shit, fucking interface. Absolutely nonsense shit. This banner should not be all the way back here. Doesn't make any fucking sense. Alright, let's go. In service to Rome. Now they do it properly. What the fuck? Man, look at the spazzing out. Look at all of that shit. Oh my god. Seems about even so far. Barely seems to be a difference between any of them. Definitely trailing happening. There's more inconsistency. 
but that inconsistency seems to be over here more. Missile infantry, Romans ready for duty. Definitely more than made it through sooner on this side. But Missile it seems like there's a lot that are stuck over here. More made it through on this side faster. <laughs> the average arrival time Missiles on this unit was way earlier than on this one, which just doesn't make any sense. That should never be happening whatsoever. That's just bizarre. And the results seem inconsistent in general. Like, see that time? It was closer to what I would ex have expected from just how I've done tests like these in the past on a whim. Let's do this again, a third time. What's going on here with the spacing? I'm having trouble getting this right. But yeah, that was a that was an absolutely disastrous, tragic result there. So when I did this for Rome One, I said, "You should be relieved at seeing this. You should be reassured at how good of a simulation Rome One is." But in this case, it's the opposite. You should be horrified, absolutely horrified and dismayed at these results, which are just fucking bizarre and nonsense. Why is there a hole here? They've been pushed around. Yep, pushing around happening there, I think. Right, let's get ready for another run. Quick march! We await your command. But yeah, this is a pretty sound methodology, I think. Anyone can repeat this. Confirm these results whenever they want. It's just how the game works. It's just how it works, man. This is just the game. This is Rome 2 in a nutshell. This ugly, shitty, bizarre outcome. This just reminds me of every time I've ever played Rome 2 since it came out. Just does this kind of bullshit non stop. Rome 2 shenanigans, Rome 2 antics. Like, see over there? My god, look at that shit. Look at him being fired around. That guy just being shot around the place. And that's what's that's what's going on up the whole line. They're just being pinballed around. Right, this time it seems like we have definitely a lead with the guys running through the open. And once again it seems neck and neck. I don't know, it might be getting worse for the guys running through the, the orderly formation. Seems like this one's just devolving, honestly. Like, it really does seem to just be devolving horribly for these. Yeah, these made it through way faster, way easier. My god. So it's just backwards. It's the complete opposite result from what you would expect. So this is... The density is marginally higher for the gladiators. Because we have 1,320 men packed into the same space as over here, where there's only 1,280, because there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 times 160, 1,280 versus 11 times, that's 11 isn't it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 times 120 for 1,320. So this side actually has greater density, and more chaos, and less direct p paths through. It's more obstructing, definitely should be more obstructing. There are clear paths all the way through this formation. Can I see all the way through? I think I can. I think it's actually possible. So that just shows the uniformity. Nearly, maybe, maybe you can, maybe. Yeah, you can, you can see all the way through. So there's clear lines all the way through, there's lanes, there's files, well it would be channels because it goes along the way. And despite the fact that this is a lower density formation for which there are clear paths all the way through, it still is less permeable, it's less navigable than the disorderly chaotic blob. So unless there's something else going on here, safe to say Rome 2 is just... In terms of its simulation of men in formation with mass occupying space and formation as units, it's a pile of shit. It's fucking garbage. Fucking embarrassing shit. Based on these results, I don't know what else I'm meant to think. 
but that's just what it's always been. Like it's just always been like this. She just accepted this eight years ago, really, or what is it? Nine years ago now. Came to terms with this a long time ago. Happy to serve Rome. Let's get this right. Do it one last time. In service to Rome. I waiting. I can't think of anything I've done wrong here. Don't know what could be wrong. As you were. This is just how this game fucking works. It's just to be expected. Hold formation. All right. One last time, let's see how it goes. In the name of Rome. They are in front. It seems like the guys at the front do run through the channels, but then it just devolves and they all get stuck. Am I thinking right here? Is that is that right? It seems right. And then over here, they just push their way through all the crap. They even make their own channels by pushing. It doesn't seem to really slow them down. Because once again, they're making it through with the same difficulty as these ones. So, embarrassing results that are completely different from Rome 1. The guys running through the open are unencumbered. The guys running through the orderly, neat, or organised uniform formation that's conducive to being run through, they struggle the most, whereas the guys running through the disorderly chaotic blob get through it easier. So it's completely backwards. When you're running through formations in Rome 2, you want to be running through chaotic fucked up blobs and just pinballing your way through. You don't want to be trying to sensibly move through organised formations that have lines. And the fact that they didn't even implement the opening file system that Rome 1 had just confirms that they're not interested in anything to do with simulation and sensible, systemic gameplay that rewards... I don't even know what you would call it. Just fucking sound principles of tactics and organisation. At least Rome 2 is consistent about that. And that's the only positive thing I can conclude from this. <laughs> Rome 2 never fails to fail. And that's all I've got to say about that. <laughs>